Hello everyone, today's video is about a very special handgun. And why is it so special? Because it is probably one of the most hidden gem in the market of polymer striker fire handgun. Let me start with a little story here. Usually I never tell a story, but this one I think will be making a point. One day, about a few months ago, I went to Bud's store in Lexington, Kentucky. And for people who know the store, this is a huge store with a lot of uh, handguns. And into the used handguns case was a Steyr L9 or M9. I'm not too sure. I did not know those guns at the time. So I asked the gentleman behind the counter if I could hold the gun. And of course, he obliged me and gave me the gun. Well, do you remember the first time you hold a CZ75 or clone? how that grip felt into your hand. Perfect. This is the same with the tire. Then I asked him if I could shoot it, try it, into their indoor range. And he said, no problem, but not this gun. We have another tire uh, for rent in the, uh, at the shooting range. So he set me up with a gun, with some ammo, with the earmuff, the target, etc. So I went shooting and that's where that gun shines. And the tire has a different set of sight. In the back, it has a trapezoid rear, and in the front, it's got the triangular sight. So you point them. It takes a few try to make it work, but we, as a human being, are adaptable to anything, almost anything. And that took a few, maybe five or six trials, and the gun went into uh, target very easily but the tip of the triangle was where the bullet hit. So that's pretty good. And I think because of that, the sights are a bit better than these standard uh, three dot sights. But hold on here. I took a shot. The bullet was right there on the top of the triangle. But when the slide came back, it put the front sight, top of the front sight, right there where the first round on the paper was. And then you shoot again and it comes back and you shoot again. If you do your job correctly with holding the gun, as it should any time. But this one was amazing. The side came back exactly where it was before. So let's go back to what you came here for in the first place is to take a look at that gun. So let's start. This is the case. And this is the gun. Doesn't come with much. Two magazine, handgun, keys, we'll go over that, a lock, and a manual. No cleaning tool, no nothing, which if you are a first time buyer, you might want to go buy your own cleaning rods and, uh, and solvent and oil. But if you already have multiple guns, this is absolutely useless to have more brushes, more uh, of, of things you already have. So this is good. That means I probably save money on the gun, which means also I got this gun in a place called gunbuyer.com online. And this went for 445 bucks. So really reasonable price. And I had some issue with my FFL faxing everything and I talked with Erica on the telephone about transferring the gun. And those guys were so helpful. Erica is Beautiful. She she helped me. She took the time. She took I think three of my phone calls. She remember me. Well uh, uh, Something give it away. I don't know what but and she was extremely sweet She sent me email to confirm things even other people got involved a little bit. They were all beautiful and Gunbuyer.com is located in Florida. I am in the mountain of Eastern Kentucky and it took no less than two days to have that gun shipped here, which is amazing. Usually when I buy something online from Florida, it takes about four to five days. So two days, I mean, come on, you are waiting for your gun. I was extremely pleased. Anyway, let's talk about the gun. Comes with two magazines. But at first, when I took the magazine to put inside the gun, some of the glue, as you can see here, gets stuck on the magazine. And I did not see that. It happened also on that magazine. So what happened is, I take the magazine, put in the gun, try the ejection, and it could barely come out. I say, holy cow, a bad magazine or bad spring something went bad. But hold on, I have another magazine. And same thing. 
What happened is the first magazine had some foam as well, which got stuck right here. I had to scrape it off and clean it up with some azopropyl alcohol. Same with that magazine. So everything went fine, but for a little while there, I was a bit worried about that gun. Now, if I push the ejection hard enough, it comes out very, very well. Now let's talk about the gun. And as you can see, if I don't push hard enough, the magazine doesn't come out. And that's where I would like to see more aftermarket for that gun. And I think that's the, that is the downfall of Steyr L9 or M9 is they don't have much of an aftermarket. I don't think they know how to make money here in America because you have to spend money to make money, meaning you have to gather people who build sites, magazines, and then something for holsters and sights. Well, not, I talk about sights, but springs. Anyway, let's talk in details about that gun. First thing first, the grip. Well, for people who know CZ, this is as beautiful, comfortable as a CZ75. It is a bit smooth, a bit slick. A lot of people complain about it. I agree. Uh, when I take it, I'm afraid to drop it because it's so sli slick. But when you shoot it, the grooves here is at the perfect angle and position, not like Glock. It holds your hand very well. The few serration in the front and in the back are also very effective because when you shoot the gun, it does not move at all. But it would be nice to see some more stippling and yes, Steyr had listened uh, to customers after making the same gun for now about 19 years. They just came out with an A2 version, available probably mid-2019, where everything here is stippled. And we are going to talk about this. The magazine well has been flared. It is not flared on that gun. If it's for home defense, planking, or still challenge competition, as I'm doing, you don't really need to do a fast reloading. Still challenge, you reload between strings. So it is not a big deal. As long as you have four magazines, you change them between strings and start shooting again. But the magazine well is narrow and it will take a little bit of training to really put the magazine in it. Also, something I'm going to show you here. I'm going to use some dummy ammo. Oh yeah, this is a feature. I love when the slide come back when you insert a magazine, every time. Now, I don't know if it's only my model, my particular handgun, but if all of them do that, that is beautiful. Now let's move up on the gun. We have the magazine release. I do have small hands, and even so that grip fits perfectly, I do have to move my hand to eject the magazine, and that I do not like at all. So I wish they had an aftermarket extended magazine release. Trigger. People who have talked about it will tell you all it is a beautiful trigger. I'm not going to talk about the reset, which is practically unknowable, but when you shoot it, it doesn't matter, because you will have either earmuff or you'll be deaf from the gun shooting that you will not hear the click of the reset. What happened is, it's like a, a stick shift in a car. When you put it in first, you don't have a noise. When you put it on second, you don't have a noise telling you it's there, or in third. You know it because you have trained with it. It's the same thing with any handgun. The reset is what you expect because you have been training with it. So training will tell you exactly where the reset is at. Let's move up. The frame, some people will find it ugly. I find it very attractive. And while we're here, let me show you something here. Look at the slide. Small, narrow as a CZ. Look at the front, like a bulldog as a CZ. And the grip as a CZ and as accurate as a CZ. This is a gun CZ should have made. Now the CZ P10C is a formidable gun. Really, really good gun. But this one looks more like a CZ than a P10. 
and it shoots the same as a P10. I don't own one, but I've shot many rounds into the P10, and it's a really, really good weapon. I think this one has an edge. It could be the sights, it could be the grip angle, which absorbs a lot of recoil because of the angle. Uh, the trigger, which is as good, I think. It's got something with all this engineering put together that makes it one of the top five polymer handgun on the market. Anyway, all that real estate right here makes it that when I put my hand here, I do not accidentally push the magazine release or sl a slide lock. On the CZ, on the Glock, on many handguns, I put my thumb to rest right there. And very often the slide will not stay open on the last round. If you have that problem, this will not happen with the style. Look how high it is. And I never had so far a slide not locking on, on the last round. So that's a big deal for me. Let's talk about the slide. Very thin, which means light, low bore axis. You can see the cut, very deep. The hand will naturally sit into the web and you have a perfect stain. It's pretty wide. Okay, let's see how wide the slide is. And I will say 28 millimeter. The CZ is we are much narrower at 23.57. The Glock is also narrower at 25.6. So the slide is definitely thicker on the tire. But it does not do anything except you cannot fit it in too many holsters. I've tried it on the Glock holster the CZ holster and a few older holster, holster that I have and none fit. So I did find a few holster online, uh, two makers for competition and a few making uh, concealed carry holsters or outside the, the waistband uh, holsters. So you can find holster pretty well. Now let's talk about the sights. Those very different sights. Trapezoid in the back, triangular in the front and they work better than three dot sights. People always whine about, oh, it's different, or I have problem adapting to them. They are super easy to adapt. Give it one magazine, you will adapt to the grip angle, you will adapt to the sights, and this gun is quite amazing. Every time you shoot, if it's sighted incorrectly, the bullet will end up right on the tip of the triangle. And the slide will come back, and the front sight will be right where it started with the bullet hole of the previous shot right on top here. Now, let's talk about the safety here. The gun comes with two keys, allows you to push this dinghy here to make it fit. You can still activate the gun, but it will not fire. It blocks the trigger inside right behind the trigger, so nothing can be done here. This gun is really safety emphasized because you have that safety here. If you have a bullet in the chamber, you will see it here, you will feel it on the extractor, and you will have that little notch or bar coming out. I think this one is the best, because when you have the gun in your hand, you can really feel it here. The other, it's not given that you will feel the bullet is here and if it's night time you will not see it right on top. So this gun is really built to emphasize safety. And to take it apart, all you have to do is to push that detent inside and to move the lever down. That's it. Very simple really. And the rest is like any handgun. All right, let's see. The inside of the gun here is a chassis type. The first manufacturer who has built a chassis, except they never took advantage of it. They put the serial number of the gun right down here, which means they cannot build 
any more frame for you to buy because it will not have the serial number. Unless you can find a way to etch the serial number on the frame here, which is a very solid frame, there is no way to get an aftermarket grip. The new generation coming out in 2019 has a serial number on the chassis, not on the frame. And because of this, I expect Steyr to sell different grip, not with different size, because the, the, because the A2 gun comes with different inserts for different size hands. But you could get different color frames, different size frames, to fit your different handguns. And that will be it for the basic fill stripping. And that latch came back on its own, like a 92 Beretta. Same principle. So ready for action. So this is it for the tire. A gun that anybody who likes guns should have in their collection. This is definitely one of the top five polymer striker fire handguns. There is no denying. You love it or you hate it, like many gun designs, but this is an amazing handgun. Shoot extremely flat. The sights are they should be available for every handgun, really. Um, they, are, they are wonderful. And the grip angle, which is a bit odd at first, again, one magazine, and you will adapt to it. But the angle of the grip allows you to absorb a lot more recoil. This gun is, I think, a bit more flat shooting than my CZ75, and that's to tell a lot. This is my handgun. This is the gun I sleep with, take a shower with, go to work with, well, I'm going to have to put it aside for a while and, well, I have a mistress now, for a while at least, and I'm going to try it as much as I can, and I will tell you later what I think of it. Well, until next time, see you guys.